All right, next we're preparing the pressure regular regulator for installation. Uh, there's a brass gasket right there. Then there's a O-ring. Should have came with your kit. And, uh, these pieces in order. Okay, and we'll install that in the case. All right, installing the regulator into the case here. Just make sure everything stays together. All right. All right, next we're gonna assemble our parking brake bracket. Uh, there's two sets of pistons here. Uh, this one here that is uh, longer, has a larger spring. This is the parking blocker piston. Also has the pin that doesn't have any uh, peened ends on it. Um, the, the other size piston is the reverse blocker piston and has a smaller spring and this pin is peened on the end. So first up is the parking blocker piston. And then next is the reverse blocker piston. Okay, then I'll just uh, use a hammer and smash this end of the pin so it doesn't come loose. All right, now we're gonna install the uh, parking brake assembly and governor. So the, the first thing is to uh, set the parking prowl in the case. And then the governor. Um, it's usually a good idea if you line these rings up all to the bottom. They won't interfere with the slots in the governor. If you notice, if you can see in there, there's some slots and uh, they'll catch on the rings. So. All right. We're not going to tighten those just yet. All right, now there's a roller that fits over this pin here. And now we can install the parking prowl bolt. Okay. Now we can install some oil delivery pipes. Just like that. And then last, there's a uh, spring that uh, hooks onto the, one of these pipes. Like that. All right, there's a specialty tool that I don't have, but the purpose of it is to kind of fit in this uh, recess here and keep the uh, governor and the oil delivery sleeve here lined up when you tighten the bolts. But uh, if you're careful and you're paying attention, you can execute this without the tool. So that's what I'm gonna do now. 
All right, next we're working on the valve body. Specifically, this piece is the, called the inner valve body. And uh, what I've done here is lay out all the pieces in the right direction and the right order. There's a lot of good diagrams in the shop manual to uh, tell you how this all fits together. There's a lot of little moving pieces, so make sure you pay attention. And the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is uh, lubricate all this. It just helps all this stuff kind of go together. All right, we have some more assembly of the inner valve body. So again, start off with uh, lubricating the ports, the valves. Like that. That's together. Continuing on with valve body assembly. A couple more parts to assemble here. Now we have a check ball to install, a spring. And then this plate. And that completes the inner valve body. All right, we're assembling the outer valve body now. I got the pieces laid out. It's a relief valve here.
there's a pin that goes in to uh, keep this valve from coming out. Yeah. Now I have to install a new oil ring on the shifter valve and then there's this washer that holds this down. Um, it's bent and that's how it stays in place. Last side of the outer valve body here, we have a spring Now we can install the outer valve body onto the inner valve body. Okay, now the, uh, the detent spring and the manual valve The important thing about the manual valve is that this pin goes between there you go. So you have your manual valve, the pin between it, and of course the detent. And the valve body is complete. Alright, now we're going to slide the valve body on. You just have to line up those three pipes. And then install your bolts. All right, and then there's one last oil delivery pipe. Goes right there. All right, we're gonna be doing the front band adjustment, uh, servo adjustment. There's a specialty tool. Uh, you can't get by without it. But the first step here is to uh, remove this plug. And uh, if you notice down here, you should have about a quarter inch of play in your band against the stopper. We can go ahead and remove this uh, safety pin. And uh, this is the, uh, the servo gauge, and uh, what you do here, screw this in here, hand tight, and then you turn this until you feel it touch right there, and now we're going to turn it five times, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now what you do is you adjust your, uh, your uh, adjuster down here until this piece basically wiggles. All 
Yeah, see that? This wiggles right there. And uh, now you can put your safety pin back in. Like that. And remove your gauge. And install your plug. That's it. Alright, now we're going to adjust the rear servo and uh, there's a specialty tool, a gauge for that. Um, it looks like, like this, J5071. And the idea is that it uh, simply just goes against the uh, servo case and then uh, to the pin and uh, you'll see that. And you just basically adjust, tighten the adjusting nut until the, uh, the actuating lever just touches the gauge and then you tighten it all down. And the, <coughs> the adjusting pin we're talking about is right there. So uh, go ahead and do this. Right there. I'm gonna just uh, tighten that lock nut down. As you can see, I went ahead and uh, installed the uh, the pickup tube. Uh, it bolts onto the servo there to hold it in place, and then the screen. And then uh, what I'm gonna do next is uh, install the seal. Uh, what we have here is a uh, this is the oil seal that goes in um, this direction. And then after that is a spacer and then the dust shield. So I'm going to do that off camera. All right, I had the bell housing on now. So it's time to uh, install the Taurus cover, which you just need to uh, lubricate the seal prior to sliding this on. Then there's an oil ring, so you have to be careful that uh, the ring gets muted properly. Okay. Next is the drive torus. Followed by a lock ring. Now I just need to tighten that nut down and we're done. All right, here's the finished product with the pans installed and uh, painted up factory Oldsmobile green.
Thanks for watching.